talk crazy and this is actually shit that goes on in cigar shops these type of conversations happen in the cigar shop the ones that we can show you all these are the conversations that, that we exactly. can show you all let's be the clear one we, we talk exactly. from a to z from a politicians exactly. to everything so this is the one that we can show and because this is a live feed let me let people know this is one of the reasons we started the show to show people what goes on in the cigar shop, the conversations, the the people, like everybody getting together, we talk about everything. Politics, sports, sex, we talk about everything. So Venus vs. Miles is one of our most popular segments, and we got a topic that Ben shot out to us, and I think this is a great topic. So we're about to get into this. So now let's run to Venus vs. Miles. <laughs> but... So let's get into this. Uh, everybody knows salt and pepper, right? Y'all old yeah. ass know. Y'all old ass know salt and pepper. Old. Well, but mature old, old shit. <laughs> old shit. Old shit. <laughs> I like being old. We all veterans. So um, right. Pepper, Pepper posted something about Will Smith. So obviously Will Smith tried to get with him oh, back, back, in day, back in the day when he was before, like the Fresh Prince Will Smith. You know, we uh-huh. about the. The goofy acting kid. Right, right, right. She didn't give him a chance because he was too much of a good guy. And she liked bad guys. Huh. Right? She liked the thugs, the tough dudes. I, I don't... Who got they post up exactly what she said? Anybody got it? Exactly what she said. But it pretty much leads to the... You know, she was into the thugs, the tough guys. Now, fast forward... Will Smith damn near billionaire. Mm. <laughs> and whoever she was fucking with probably locked up. Doing a billion years. She on the She on the reality TV show trying to get the check. Trying to get the check, right? Yeah. Nothing, yeah. She's from the trash. Yeah, I didn't get the trash. I ain't with the trash. She's fucking with the trash. But here's the thing, though. What I think. Okay, he tried to shoot a shot. She turned him down. But she wouldn't have been the missus anyway. I don't know. You got a point that though. So it don't matter if she would have dated him or whatever. Not she wouldn't have been the missus. He could have no. uplifted uplift nah. her and put her on movies and all that stuff. And just think movie. about it. Jada, Jada Smith was she cool with pop. Yeah. Pop. But, she didn't. but she ended up married. No, but I'm going to tell you But I'm gonna tell you this. Jada, Jada Pinkle was willing to give him a chance. What I'm saying is say she, say she said yes. But if that's her mentality that she loves a thug, that would have only lasted so long anyway. That's that's yeah, just true, my point of view. True, you right. know what I mean? She, I don't know if she would she would have been willing. Sometimes people ask you on day, oh, thank you, I don't give him a chance. I know that you know, you know if you like somebody, you know if right. it has potential. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if that was her mindset before, even if they went on that date, he would have soon realized. Do you understand what right. I'm saying? Like, I, that's I, what I, I, I think. Said, personally. I said. So let's say when it is. Do women look for potential, or do you look for the right now? So let's get to this obsession with the bad guys thing, because y'all all had it before. Don't act like you did. I'm about to talk about that. Don't act oh, like you did. Money. Y'all had the obsession with the well, tough no, guys. No, you and somebody asked me put in one of the groups, guys do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. But, I, but I think I think you need to put a 
But now you're talking to people that's in their 40s. Yeah, I was gonna go As opposed to people that's, that was in their 20s. Like, yeah. like say when she was contemplating that, they were younger, yeah. right? So she wanted a thug in her life. She wanted somebody, right? But all women, I'm not gonna say y'all want a thug. I mean, y'all can correct me. But I'm not gonna say y'all want a thug. But when you, you out with a guy, right, you want to feel you comfortable with a guy that he'll protect you and you're yeah. safe with him. So, right? Right. so you can say thug, but you yeah. also want somebody that's going to treat you guys right, treat you how you want to be treated or what have you. So when you say, do you want a thug, what, what does that mean exactly? Now, how does that come off for, for I don't think it's thug. That's the wrong one. You word. want a guy, like you said, to protect us, and you want a guy that you can't run over. That's right. right. You don't want physical right. abuse, don't get me wrong. You don't want that. But you want a guy that's a take charge type of guy. Yes. Not necessarily a thug, mm -hmm. but he has that potential to protect you. Let's right. stop all this. Can you feel safe? Let's, let's stop right now. <laughs> I'm going to stop right now and call bullshit. When that comment, I want a thug, is what it was, I want a thug. That I mean, you wanted that guy that was selling dope and whatever. There's some girls, I ain't saying there's all ladies out there, but yeah, it, it's some cats, some women out there that you want it, because that's the life that you, the only thing you know, so you, you want a thug. Now you got that guy that got on the suit, he stepped to you and you be like, nah, he a cornball, but guess what? This dude came up in the streets. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm one of those dudes. So, I, I can wear the suits, I can wear the Tims, I can go in any hood and be comfortable, mm -hmm. but I wear a suit every day. Me too. But if I step to you and I got a suit on, you ain't feeling me. I ain't here. Yeah. You yeah. might. He got yeah. 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 In my day, mm -hmm. I did. I wanted a thug. I wanted a rough neck kind of guy. Because to me, that meant tough. That meant protection. Right. Okay? Right. That meant I can go somewhere and I know ain't nobody going to fuck me. Right. right. As I've gotten older, my quality, my criteria, my standards are much different. They're much higher. So it's not that I want. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that I want a thug, but I do want to make sure that my man can stand his ground and protect me, you know, and that he has a lot of quality that stands behind him. Now, I do like your husband name again? My husband's name is Sly. No, I call my husband Bess. So, here it is. This is what I like about my husband. He can dress down. He can dress, you know, kind of that rough kind of look. I, I like it, you know. But I also like the fact that he can also put on a suit and tie. And it's so. That's every day. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think that it has a lot to do. I think it has a lot to do with your age, where you are in life. You know, it makes a difference. How you was at 25. You're different at 30, 35, 40. And it is your definition of what a thug is. That exactly. Your definition is different. Yeah, exactly. Then what Keita just said, my definition is what Keita's talking about. I don't want the thug that I got to dodge bullets with him. I got to hold a package for him. You know, right. I got to go bail his ass out of jail every time you turn around. No, not that type of thug. No, you either ride or die, you ain't. You ain't. Down you ain't. But I, I, let me ask you ladies a question though. Ladies that hold thugs, right? Now y'all know y'all want a thug. Y'all know the background of this. Are y'all willing to take that? See, this is the thing. Women be like, I want a thug. Oh, he gonna protect me. But if you really, you wait for him to do that 5, 10 bid, if the cops come in and bust the door down and go to the freezer, you ready for all that? Your kids sit there playing, but the cops still come in with warrants to pay them off. Yeah, right. You run into the toilet uh, and flush it. Right, you run into the toilet and flush it. We always talk this talk of what they want. This shit, this street shit, it's a thug. It's a thug. Nobody you say the drug dealer or not. He could be the man. He ain't got to be the drug dealer, but he a thug. He the man. He could sit at home and run his territory, but he's that thug. He's the main man. Are y'all willing to accept this background y'all got to go with? 
Wait, Cause that shit could go yeah. in a minute. Are you a ghost and a touch? You could be that. Are you a ghost and a touch? Right. Yeah. Ghost okay. is a thug, no matter how you see it. Yeah. Come no, you would feel real, real quick, come on, Don. I, I don't know. Thug is the word. Like, what? Okay, so is there a difference between a street guy and a thug? It is. What? Because what, what y'all said, what everybody is saying about can get suited and booty, can't protect it, this, that, and the other, what's the difference? Like, I, I'm trying to understand the difference between a thug and a street dude. I feel like they kind of go hand in hand. And, and what Peppa was talking about. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Right, she right. said she wanted a thug. And she, she didn't want one. Right. She ended and up with one that was in the streets. And that so what, 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 what's our definition of a thug? Because... And I don't think women just go out looking for a thug, saying going in the club like I'm gonna find the biggest thug in here. You, you know what I mean? I think I think that I think it's all about your environment, your level of maturity, what you want out of life, what you used to, and who picks you. Yeah. I think women just you know a guy that's a little rough around the edges. Cause you got a rough neck here and you got a thug that's a criminal here. I don't want that criminal. I just need that stronger protector. So you want oh, okay, so we trying to separate thug and, and thug and street guys and, and tough guys. So let's go to the good guy side of it. What makes him a good guy, but not too good to where he's getting run over? Like, have y'all ever dated like that? Yes, man. Anything you want, baby. Yes, yes man. I have. I did that. Yes. Yes. You want, baby. Yes. 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 I dated one of those guys. It sucked. It I had to plan the trips. I had to plan the dinner dates. I had to plan if we was going to concerts and all that. I'm like, well, what you want to eat? Well, what you want to eat? <laughs> that could be. Pick out some. Pick out wait, where you want to take me to dinner. Why are we got to pick the restaurants? That sucks. That could be. Considered I don't care how much money you got. It sucks. Okay, okay Sandy, Sandy said that could be considered a mama's boy. So is it? So guys have to yeah. figure out. So 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 for the fellas, we have to figure out give you what you want to make you happy and not be a punk at the same time. That's right. You have to protect Right. Wait, wait, wait. What, but where does where does it fall? Do I give you everything you want? Or do I take charge and make you do some shit you may not want to do? Right. But sometimes taking charge can be different. Like you get it confused. Like, because what your guy may want, you might not want. Right. Right? Well, I think... Like, we didn't talk about reasons and all type of weird shit before. If that's what your guy want. But if he's giving you everything, any and everything you want, yes, dear, it's yours, dear, you can have this, dear, why is he too good? Why is he too soft? He's not a good guy, now he's soft. Where do we cross the line from good to soft? You gotta be able at times to say... The man has to be able to say no, and at times, even though we don't like it, we have to be able to accept Simple. it. Right. A lot of times, and yes, I'm one. I know I'm one. I'm one. You, you can't well, really you tell me no. The minute you, you tell, tell me no, you got to debate. Right. There is a why. It's a why. It's and, a why. And if the why is like you giving me a legitimate answer, and I feel like it's the best for both of us, I'm gonna be like, I got it wrong. Why is it that he got to give you an explanation? If he's a man and he's telling you no, it should be like, okay, baby, that's what it is. That's okay. just what it is. He's a man. 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 It's Tell silly. me the reason if I if I be like, babe, let's go on this trip. Well, now, nah, babe, we can't go on this trip. I'm not gonna let it ride. Tell me why we can't go on this trip. If he tell me, what, well, babe, you know we gotta pay for this the next month. You know we gotta pay for this the next month. This money ain't gonna ride like this. But if y'all want to okay. compromise, but y'all want this too to compromise each other, you should not. That's a compromise. compromise. You giving me your why as to he's thinking about the household. He not just thinking about himself. He's thinking about both of us in our household together. If he say, well, babe, we can't do this trip right now. We're going to have to wait for this trip later on this year because we got this and this and this to do. Okay, that's a good enough reason for me because he's thinking about the whole household. I'm not just going to be like, nah, babe, we can't go on this trip. Well, why we can't go on this trip? And he's not giving me a why. Are you, are, you willing, are you willing to accept 
his reason. Yeah. 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 You got yeah. to. Yeah. And, yeah. He gave me a reason. Yeah. 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 Okay, it's easy. It's easy. Well, well, it's easy. Don't you guys realize though, like, if you're in a relationship with a guy and you've been and you know him, right, and you make a suggestion or whatever, and let's say he shoots it down and he says no, right, I don't think we should do this. Right? Don't you guys or whatever whatever the deal is, and he said no, baby, I don't, I don't think we should do that. It's not going right. Don't you guys trust your man in this situation to make a decision, right? That's the both of you guys. But can, why can't you tell us why? Why can't you tell us why? I still but, got your back, but I still want to know why. Right. Look, look, look. Because y'all want to stop. But y'all, if we need to know why, the 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 why sometimes starts a debate. Yep. And sometimes, this ain't debating. <laughs> now, it's not dictatorship. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, sometimes everything ain't a damn debate. Like your man, and you should trust your man because you know your man, right? How come this your guy or your husband? You got to know that sometimes it's no different than he makes a decision about his child, right? I'm not comparing it, just hear me out. He makes a decision about his child, that's a decision he's making. This ain't up for the day, sometimes. Because you got to trust that he's making the best decision for you all. You got to know that in the door. He's not being selfish. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, babe, I don't think we should do that. Well, I, think we should do that. Well, I don't think we should go on this trip. Like you said, well, I don't think we should, right? Oh, I don't think we should invest in this or whatever. Don't you guys trust your man to sometimes say, hey, this, this ain't good. Okay, come on, come on. Come on. I, 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 I would trust you. I would trust you. But I still would like to know why. You want me to ride with you? I'm not. I don't want to ride blind. We together. We communicate. Hey. Tell me what's going on, and I'm backing you up with the kids, whatever it is. And not only that, if I, I trust you, that's not the issue. But suppose you say something or do something that I may have a different insight on that I can give to you. It's the whole point is communication. Fine. You want it? Take it. But again, if I come to you and I ask you something, and you say no, and I say, wait a minute, why not? Why can't we do this? And you say, well, no, you got to, right, you say trust me because I said so. Well, wait a minute now, I trust you, but what the hell do I got to do with this? Tell me why. And no. if your reasoning okay, is that we're going to go to the spot. We're going to go to the spot. Let's go to the spot. So I, I, give, I give you a prime example. Okay. So me and my wife, we got married in 2012. So, but in 2011, we set up a date for us to be married, which would have been July 25th. Okay. So one day I decided, I said, well, you know what? I think I need to change his wedding day. I said, you know what? I want to change his day. So I come to her. I said, well, Keita, I think we need to change the day to October. Man, my wife threw a fit. When I tell you she threw a fit, I'm talking about she called her cousin, <laughs> she called her mama, she called her, co work. her cousin, her cousin, who took off work, she cried tears, so she called me like, you need money? I'm like, I ain't never said shit. <laughs> the only thing I'm saying is, the only thing I'm saying is, because sometimes women can be overreacting and not really listen. And I said it because she went off and had a heart attack. Well, you just don't want to get me, you know what? Come October 20th, the day I changed, right before that, she said, Damn, man, you know what? That was a smart decision. You know? And, 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 and sometimes, sometimes as men, we gotta, instead of going into it with them, we gotta let it be, because that was one time, you know me, that I really just didn't say much. Matter of fact, I left with my friend, that we had to go somewhere, let it calm down. She was still mad, and when I came back, and when she, I think I was giving her one time, she planned to get what she wanted. And when she got what she wanted, she felt like the best decision. She had to admit it now. Don't get me wrong. But, hey, it Because you seen what she was going through, what she was trying to right. do. Exactly. And you was like, that's a push of the couple. <laughs> exactly. So, that's dope. Okay, Jatai, Jatai got a comment to read. Johnny Campbell said, men get content and chill. Nikki Dillon said, y'all want us to stay the same, but y'all change and want us to like it. What way? Change That's a good way. point. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let, me, let, let me speak on this. When the money says, what the guy or mother says what about changing. The change is, 
I'm going to throw out a situation, none of it, it's all it's factual, but say for instance that a uh, woman you marry becomes a Eastern star, or she gets, she, she pledges and becomes an AKA. Now your whole demeanor, everything changes because now you're doing things outside that's different. And you start moving different. You start, oh, I'm going to go on a trip with my girls, and this is something that you never have done before. For a man, that's like, man, we, we throwing a flag on that because you weren't doing that before, but now you can get into this group or the, this organization, and now your whole, you have changed your whole personality. Men don't like that. And Nikki Dillard says, we change, yes. In a relationship, when you're moving forward, everybody changes, Thank you. but if you get involved in something that's outside of your marriage, the family, and you start changing as an individual, that's where the flag comes in. And it goes, you can flip it back in reverse to a man, if he gets down with the smoke colors, and then he starts moving differently, those are flags. You gotta stay 100 to your, to your relationship, your marriage first. That comes first and foremost. You shouldn't be changing towards a group that you're in and then you start treating your, your, your partner different. That's where the problem the problems come in. And so that's it. All, of, all of this happens because lack of communication. And, and, and that, okay, but that's, that's, a, that's a great point. So we can relate this to the cigar life real quick. You marry someone, you know, y'all together, and then all of a sudden, they get involved in this lifestyle. Shit changed. The whole yeah. dynamic changed. Yeah. He at the cigar shop all the time. Yeah. He, you know, hanging out. You ain't into that. And he wasn't into that when you first, y'all first got together. But now he didn't discover cigars, and he hanging out at Windy City every Friday and Saturday night. He kicking it. Things change, right? He coming home. He coming home smelling like smoke. Cause we all done dated somebody who hates yes. cigar smoke and wants you to get in the shower and get your clothes out and all that bullshit, mm -hmm. right? So that's what we're talking about as far as when does it, when does it change and how much can you take and what are you willing to sacrifice, you know, to stay with this person? So right. come on, Sam, real quick. Yeah. If you're with some, if you're with somebody and you know they doing okay, say you like that. Hanging out the town with your boys, you doing stuff, you doing stuff. What do you want the woman to stay on the dormant? So I decided, well, I'm gonna get to, I'm gonna go with the Greek girls. I'm like, I'm in the cigar world now. It's a problem now because now you like, you going all the time and doing stuff, but the one problem is you was doing. Makes sense. Makes when sense. When you was doing it, it wasn't a problem. Now you sitting at home. And I'm happy with my friend. So now it's a problem. Right. I, so how can you be so selfish that you running with your boys all the time, I'm at home take care of the house, the kids, the dogs, and everything else, and now I'm hanging out with my girls, because you want now you want to come home and sit down and be the grumpy old man. But now the parameters of the whole relationship has changed, right? right. Everything has changed. As I said, if that's the case, Guess what? Two individuals gotta make time for each other to get into the Exactly. You just can't go out for self. I got a quick statement. I got a quick statement. Aisha Curry said that. She said, I put me and my husband's marriage first before our kids. Because, she because, she if, we not, back for that. because if we not happy, they not happy. Makes sense. And that makes sense. And, and a lot of people gave a flight for that because they don't understand the nature of that. And that's very important because basically what she's saying is, if me and my husband good, our kids gonna be good. They'll see us in a strong relationship. And as they get older, that's what they're gonna look for. And that makes a lot of sense. And, and to me, a lot of people just gotta reflect that when they can really didn't understand the meaning. And a lot of people don't hear that marriage as a high standard as it should be. That's called marriage. A lot of people don't look at marriage. They look at marriage as a relationship. No, a marriage is way different than a relationship. Exactly. Hey, Sam. Yes, I'm going to go to that vision how you were raised in your house, so what you saw. That's basically what I'm going to do. 
you want to do that, you know, grew up in your mother and father's in the house together, you know, you were fortunate, you would see your father come in and out. Your mother stayed at home, man. Back in the 70s, they, you know, right now, the mom was at home, you know, taking care of the kids, doing that. So if you get older, your, that may be your expectation as a man, like, I'm going to go out. I expect you to stay home. You know, and then when she don't stay home, you looking at that because it's more like, mama didn't do that for you. Do. But they say a lot of people right. marry their parents. Right. You marry your father, you marry your mother, how you can Right. And if your spouse loves you and supports you, they're going to be like, oh, it's cool, you happy? I'm happy for you. They don't like to support you. Like, my instance, y'all, tell them come over, I'm going to cook more. I'm, they can come over anytime. Shout out. Yeah, you did a good job. Shout out. Shout out. Hey, so so that so that goes so that that's that's a great point. Like I should curve thing because majority of us who have been married, we got married in church. So we got married based upon the Bible, right? You went to church and got married. With that, the Lord. So look, so but we, we that's we based off that, and according to the when you take those vows. And according to the Bible, you stand in front of that preacher, your spouse is first. first. Yeah. Yes, you become one. Yes. You become one, but your spouse is first, yes. right? The most important part of those vows is uh, richer, poor, sickness, and health, all that. That's the most important part of your vow. But we're going to keep this conversation going, but we're going to wrap this up as far as the tape. And we're going to be here. If y'all ain't doing nothing, come on down to Windy City and be down here for a little while. I need everybody to grab the glass. Thank you to everybody that was watching everybody the show. Thank Put you. your comments on, man. Thank we you. love you, man. Hey, keep we'll coming in. Back. And in the words of my boy Greg going here today, when the whiskey come, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. See y'all next time. Right. This is where that smoke. Damn, the fella. Down to tell her lobs, cause I'm up the street. Real talk, real talk. No lie, no lie. Feeling in my soul, that's the good vibe. Hoping that the right people chilling inside. If they ain't, then I dip straight out to sight. Don't even try. I just do me and I still be fly. Okay, we can see it's jumping. It ain't too crowded. Music is bumping. Hit that, yeah. Feel my dance. That for a minute.